Hey everybody, welcome to Becker Art Studios here. And um, today I'm going to give you a little bit of an example of um, Holbein Artist Colored Pencils. I just, uh, I usually promote a lot of the, I always promote a lot of the um, Holbein um, products. And this one, they just sent me the Holbein Artist Colored Pencils. They're 36, they're brand new pencils they came out with. And um, it's such a great looking box. They have, um, 150 colors if you need to buy 150 they sent me the 36 color set and um they also sent me because they know i'm a watercolorist they sent me the um it's called melts and it's something for blending these colored pencils and so i can use them into the watercolor onto the watercolor and so today what i want to do is i want to show you how they work and so um give you an idea of how to use these pencils they're not watercolor pencils. Um, you may think that I'm going to be working with watercolor pencils. These are not watercolor pencils. These are um, water resistant and actually you can use them in a way also to resist the watercolor. And so um, they're, they're um, water resistant and also they're break resistant. And so they're um, a really high end um, product, a uh, high end colored pencil. Holbein, if you um, have worked with Holbein, you'll notice that a lot of their stuff is very professional. Um, they only have high, high quality paints. They don't may make a student grade paint or anything. They don't make anything student grade. It's all very high end, high end um, materials that they use, which is actually a good thing. If you want to be an artist and um, use the best, um, Holbein is one of the, one of the better products that you can use. Um, I use their watercolors and the watercolors are where you can use them and they don't dry up. They are they don't have oxcall in them, so when you're using them and you leave it in your palette, the next time you come to them, you can just put a little bit of water in there and they're fine to, and they rejuvenate instantly. So let's get going with them. I'm going to show you these um, on tabletop here. Um, I'm, I had done this painting here of the dog and it's a watercolor, a transparent watercolor where I used Holbein paints. And um, I'm now going to um, go in there with some of the some with some of the pencils. So here's the pencil set for one here. And so if you open it up, you, um, you have all the list of all the, here I can show you closer up to all the list of every color. And then they have a little thing here, make it just out of there. And so, and then they have also a little booklet. I'm sure we're telling you all the different things about them. The colors again, of all the colors that they have, you know, all the colors that they have from there. And um, there's another bigger version, and here are all the different sets they have. They have a ton of different sets of this. And they will be available in probably January, and the beginning of the new year. They're not available right at the moment, but in a, a couple of weeks um, in the new year, they will probably be first at Blix, Blix store. And uh, from there on, they will be everywhere after that. And so I'm just going to set this here. And um, again, this is a 36 color set. And so I'm also going to use the um, melts. It's called, it's called melts. And what it does, it's, um, and let me just show you first off on a plain sheet of paper before I do this on my, on my commission that I did for somebody. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use this like on your watercolors. Again, these are not watercolor pencils. These are um, pigment, pigmented pencil or pigmented pencils that are, are light fast and um, high, very high quality. And I like the fact that if you look, the color of the, of the lead is exactly the color of the pencil itself. It's very cool. I mean, I, I wonder what it takes to do that. They have the exact color uh, in the thing. So that's a really good option I, that I think is um, you want on your colored pencils. Because to look at it, to see what you're getting and look at the little, little end would be a hard thing to do. But here I can just look down and I can grab whatever color I want, you know, and it's the pencil color. And so they also told me they have two different whites and they're really supposed to be really good whites. I don't know what the difference are between them, but this one only has one white, um, but they're supposed to cover really well. And so that's pretty neat. And so um, let's see, let's just take, um, I'm going to be working with, let's see, I'll be work, probably working with some browns and such. So I'm going to take a little brown right here. And um, what I'm going to first do is do a couple different, you know, I'll do like a, a little gradation from dark to light. And um, I'm working on actually um, Stonehenge Aqua. It's a um, paper by Legion Paper, it's a watercolor paper. Um, 
So you're going to get a little texture here. I didn't try it on a flat surface. Um, I probably could do that in a little bit, but this is going to be, I want to show you how you're using it on watercolor paper and not so much on just doing a color pencil design. It's basically, I'm going to show you, since I'm a watercolorist, I like to show you what you can do with pencils, with these color pencils on a watercolor. And so I'm just going to do a little gradation here. And then I'll just do a couple little boxes here to see. And also they sent me a sharpener. This is a great sharpener. It has five different settings for how um, deep you want the, and pointed you want the lead and how long you want the lead. I have it set at five and you just put it in the rotate. You can also close it up oh, if you don't want the stuff to come out and you can just, there's a little rotating thing here. You can close it up and I guess go a little bit tighter here. So again, really nice um, points on there. And, and notice it doesn't, even with the tip, it doesn't break. They're break resistant. It's kind of cool that they don't, um, they, it doesn't break. A lot of times you'll get the pencil, you know, when you put a real fine edge on it, and then what happens is it just breaks up, right? Well, these uh, don't do that. Really nice qualities of them. So I'm just do a couple lines. And so, and what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little bit of water. Oh, not water. I'm sorry. <laughs> not, this melt stuff is called melts. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of that, and we're going to use it on here. And it's, uh, it actually acts like it's a watercolor pencil then, you know, because it's, it's not water. It's some kind of substance. I'm not sure what it is. It is approved by the AP, so it's not, it's safe. It's not going to kill you or anything like that. It's a safe liquid. And um, see how I can just do a gradation with it? And so it also blends it, so you can blend together stuff. And like maybe this box, we can just make it, blend it all together, make it nice and smooth surface. And again, this is on watercolor paper, really rough watercolor paper. And you can also take water and rinse it out in water. So that's a nice thing. And now, of course, I always use the um, towel over my area so I can wash it anywhere I want. Again, um, so if I did this with water, it's resistant, right? See, this is with water. Now I have water in my brush and it doesn't do anything. So it resists it. And that's kind of, a, you, you could probably use that in your watercolor too, if you want to get some texture and then have watercolor, put watercolor over that and then it'll stay textured. So let me just show you that real quickly. So if I take watercolor and I have my watercolor palette here, if I take some watercolor and, um, well, I first, hold on one second, let me first put down, <laughs> Let's say a different color so you can see what different colors do. And so I'm just going to take and let's say I did some grasses or something. I'm just drawing like this. And I'm going to put a watercolor over it. I got the texture that I want. All right. So we got red grasses, pink grasses. And so we're going to take um, just watercolor. And we're going to take, let's say, a pink watercolor. Just over here real quickly. Let's say we take a pink watercolor over this now. And since it's water resistant, oh, I probably should dip into color so you can see it. <laughs> oh, well, um, you can see it stays. It doesn't um, blend together because it is water resistant. So that's kind of a, something that you would not be able to do with a watercolor pencil. Here, because it is not a watercolor pencil, um, it's going to stay down. It's going to stay down just like you drew it. And then you, if you want it to blend together, that's when you use the melts. And so I'll do that now. And so... Um, on this one up here, I'm just going to take a little bit of this and you can probably put this in a little jar or a little bowl if you're actually using it and see, I'm just going to go in here now and it just kind of blends it together. Oh, I keep forgetting to not to put it in the water. <laughs> I think once you have it wet, then it is like liquidy. So you can actually put it in water to rinse your brush and stuff like that. Cause now see how it all goes together and it just makes it a nice. Nice, even, even wash. You see, go closer up, it kind of blends it together, and you can use it like a watercolor then. And um, so you have a dish of this substance melts, and it would just um, take your color pencil from this to that. Now I'm going to see if it, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to see if it, if you can do it while it's wet. So this I put the watercolor over the pencil, leaving the pencil resistant from water. But now I'm going to try and take the the melts and put it into the water and see if it'll still do that. This is a brand new product, so I'm just testing it out. Yeah, it does. It kind of, um, it'll blend it together after, even when there's water on there. 
So that's cool. So then you can actually do it then or afterwards. You can, so you're getting a little bit of everything. You're getting the watercolor look, you're getting the color pencil look. And you know me, I like to have um, all different kinds of, of techniques and stuff when you're working watercolor. Anything that's new would be great. And here I'm taking the, um, the brush and just kind of going back into there. And so once it is once it is wet, you can still take the melts, it looks like. So that's good. I didn't know that before. All right, so that's that. Now let me show you how to use it on the actual painting. So this painting, a commission of a dog, and um, I left the detail to put in with the um, with the colored pencils, like the whiskers. You know, why not put the whiskers in with a white? And so I'm gonna sharpen it up a little bit, and um, put the melts over here. And so I'm, I think he has some white whiskers coming out here. So I'm just going to take and, you know, put them in there. It's just pigment. You know, it's pigment like the watercolor is just pigment. And so it's light fast. And so you don't have to worry about it, like, getting um, fading. So I'm putting, putting some of his whiskers in there. And so basically I'm putting in details, like how about the highlight? You know, what's to say that you can do with a um, color pencil instead of the paint, you know, white paint. Now this could not be accepted into certain watercolor societies that want a transparent watercolor, but um, this is a commission. I want to make it look just like this dog. And I'm going to put a little highlight in the eye. See that, how easy that is? And put a little... Now if I want to do something, let's say I want to put some of the hairs, and I don't want this exact color. So maybe I'll go with this more of this color. Looks a little bit more like that. And again, they're going to have 150 different colors that you could put on there. It's like pastels. You, you use the color that is that they have, actually. So see how I put in there? And so let's say I want to um, put a little shiny coat on there, a little white, a little shiny coat. And then if I want to blend this, let's just do a little bit of light here. And I'm going to blend it just to show you. I'll take my melts again. And make sure your brush is cleaned out. From what before, I'm going to take it and just. Oh, I dripped some of it away. I should do that. I'm wasting it. So, so here now you just put it in there and see how it goes right on the watercolor, and it'll just um, blend those little edges I just put in there. Let's see if I can show you that a little bit closer up. I'm going to pick this a little bit lighter here, pretty big. And let me just do it closer up. So see how it's um, it becomes the. Um, white of the pencil, but let's say I want to just blend it into the background. Now it's going to probably take and pick up the watercolor that you have underneath there too, but that's maybe a good thing, you know, so you just have to play with it and see, but it's just something totally different that you could probably do your details with and not have to use a watercolor pencil. Cause if a watercolor pencil, like I said, if you put water on it, it's just going to go all the way where if you put this pencil on and um, you want to put the water over it, it will not, like the regular water, it'll stay like the texture that you want. And then you use the melts when you want it to make it um, soft edge again. So see, I'm just making a soft edge. I'm just kind of softening it up. So pretty cool. Pretty neat that um, they have this new um, kind of pencil. Uh, most of the pencils, again, a lot of the pencils that you get, they're, um, they're cheaper pencils. And these are high-end pencils. So they're a little bit uh, more expensive than your average, you know, um, colored pencil that you like it like Crayola makes or <laughs> even Faber-Castell, I think. Um, these are basically very high pigmented and um, break resistant, water resistant. And um, they make three different um, sets. Uh, one of the sets is a design set. One is a pastel set. And one is just a regular kind of colors um, that they have. So there's different kind of sets they put together. But again, the, then there's a set in the boxes, in the wooden boxes, and, and then in these tins. Um, boxes and so there's different ways you can get the um, pencils so let me think what else we can do here let's try again a little bit of the more of the fur see how it nicely it makes fur so something you can still i guess you could get with the um watercolor if you you know use it real light but you know why not use a pencil you know if it's uh, if it merely makes it look like what it is that you want to picture like his whiskers i could also do it with white paint or i could have put mascoid down there but hey why not do it with pencil too it's very simple as you can see how, how see how fast it took me to do this 
And I know that um, I'm using a watercolor, but you don't have to even use watercolor. You can do just the color pencil, the color pencil societies. I'm not sure if they allow watercolor, but um, like I know a lot of pastel artists start out with a watercolor and then finish it as a pastel. You could do the same thing here. You could start out as a watercolor and then come in later with a pencil and get all your details and just get all your fine, fine lines and such. You know, and then if you need to blend any of that, you just take your melts um, and it doesn't, it works on some other pencils, but mostly it works on Holbein, definitely. I tried it on um, Prismacolor, a cheap pencil, and it didn't work very well at all because uh, um, Prismacolor is a pretty cheap, pe cheaper pencil. Um, the high-end pencils usually cost about $5 a pencil, I think I've heard, and I actually all the way up to six ninety five for a, um, a high-end pencil. Their pencils go for like three ninety five a pencil, so it's way down from a high-end pencil price. And so um, anything, what else? And if you um, have any questions about these pencils, um, you can go online. They're going to go uh, to their website at Holbein, HK Holbein, I think it is, um, .com, or just type in, you know, in a Google search, Holbein watercolors or Holbein pencils. You should come up with that. And, um, but um, my um, thing is that I, I, I think um, I'm going to tell them that they're very cool and that, that I do love them. You know, it's, it's a kind of a neat thing. And I'm going to have to ask him again about what the difference is between the two white pencils. This is a, you know, ended up being pretty nice. I can get the little highlights in there. And again, these are not water resistant. These are water resistant. They're not, you can't take this with water and blend it like you can some of the watercolor pencils. But um, it's just another, another, another tool in your arsenal that you could use as a watercolorist that I think um, you'd be really happy with. When you need to make a texture and you put a watercolor over it, hey, that's awesome. Like I did in this first scene, remember? This is um, what I had done first, where I put it down. I put down the um, pencil line, and then I put a wash over it, and it's resisted. So you can actually put down white and then put a wash over it, right? And if I put down wa white like this, like on a black paper, or on a, on a surface like this, if I put the white on there, and then put another coat over it with just regular watercolor, it'll stay because it's water resistant. So just another technique you can possibly come up with. Here, I'll take a little bit of a, a dark color from the watercolor and then just go over it. Just see again. See how it just stays there? So very cool. And you use water, just water. It stays there as a, as a non-watercolor pencil. It's just a colored pencil that Holbein makes. So um, there you have it. I like them. I give them a thumbs up, definitely, um, for this, for these. So give yourself um, a nice Christmas present and get yourself a nice 36 set. Or if you really uh, want a nice set, get the 150 set. Get every color that they make. And that's, though they're not available until probably um, beginning of January or in a couple of weeks. Um, so, and look at Blix, Blix first. Um, if you go to Blix first, um, that's where they're going to be first. Or they're going to be um, available. All right. So let me just go back here and wave goodbye. <laughs> so thanks, guys. Thanks for um, joining me. And um, again, get yourself a, a set of um, Holbein. What are they called? Holbein Artist Colored Pencils. So get yourself a set of those for Christmas and ask for ask Santa for them, right? All right. Thanks a lot for watching my uh, websites. And if you want, um, sign up for my um, videos. I do one every Thursday. I do a paint along. In watercolor, Holbein watercolors, by the way, and we always do them on Thursdays at Paint Along. And if you go to my website, which is this one right here, BeckerArt.net or DavidRBecker.com, and you can find out everything I'm doing on this on my website. And um, and especially here's the Paint Along. All right. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you on Thursday. All right. Bye bye.